I think it is a very real issue that, you know, women are not attracted to certain industries or certain types of workplaces. For instance, I remember in 1996, I visited a, a Cummins factory and I noticed that there was no woman's toilet. So I asked, where's the woman's toilet? Well, there's one part away. But by the way, it's not an issue because no women come here, no women work here. And I, having just come back from the US, I was a bit stunned by the answer. But by 1998, we were making almost no progress on our gender diversity goals. I went back and we brainstormed and said, look, what do we do with this issue? I mean, women aren't attracted to diesel engines and heavy in industry. And so one of the things that came out of that is um, we revi revived a existing college as the Cummins College of Engineering for Women. So it was and still is India's only engineering college solely for women. And we made a blanket offer saying anybody who graduates, you have a job with Cummins. If you want to go abroad and pursue your graduate studies, we'll get you a scholarship to Purdue University or Rose Hulman Institute. And you'll have a job offer from our parent company out when you graduate from there. And then we did a lot of things to, to improve the quality of um, the engineering school, including the labs, et cetera. And within a few years, we started getting a lot of women joining us. And then there is this thing, once there are a few, it feels like a safer, better place. And so you begin to attract more and more women. Today, Cummins has actually a whole factory in outside Pune, Fulton, where the majority of the women on the shop floor assembling these engines are women half the engineers are women, et cetera. Now, this is pretty radical, okay? So, you know, the opening an engineering college to solve a talent issue is not something many organizations are willing to do. But unless you're willing to think out of the box, you aren't going to be able to solve these issues. And if you start looking at the ROI of these things, you're never going to find ROI. There's no ROI for a diesel engine company to start a women's college. And that's why, again, you have to come at it from the point of view of, am I, is this a moral issue? Is this something I'm completely hell-bent on fixing?